So by now you know who I am. I'm Tim Van Milligan. Um, standing next to me is Erin Card. Erin works here at Apogee. She does our website and the graphics and she wanted to build a rocket. I said, well, this level two rocket would be perfect for you. So what we're going to see now is Erin building this rocket. Now she's never built a high power rocket before, so this is her first, but I'm going to be on the other side of the camera. So if she has any questions, I'll be right there to ask. So it's just like me being there with you, although you'll be with Aaron. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the motor mount for this kit. Um, we've got the motor mount tube, your um, two rings, one's got the hole in it for the, uh, the eye bolt, which you'll use to attach the shock cord, and then you got your eye bolt assembly. Um, for the first thing you want to do is put on the, the back ring and you'll want to measure half an inch from the end is where that will sit. Mark this in a couple of spots. Um, you'll want to slide on the ring to see how the fit goes. Um, and this one is just a little bit loose. Um, depending on uh, the particular ring or tube you get, it might be a little tight and that will require sanding. But with it being a little loose, you'll want to use a uh, thicker glue to glue it on. So we're going to be using this Weld Bond More Than Great glue. Um, if it fits all right, you can use uh, just standard wood glue or for a more secure um, yeah, more secure fit, you can use five minute epoxy as well. Um, so, put the glue on the tube. You can open it. Make sure the ring is square if you have a looser fit like we do. And set that down and let it dry. All right, now we're going to glue on the forward ring. Um, you want about an eighth of an eighth of an inch exposed so you can put a uh, fillet of glue on afterwards to secure it. Um, same method, just put the glue on the tube. Got a pad on, making sure it's square. Um, while we're at it, we're also going to put on the eye bolt, and we're going to use um, some of our uh, fix-it epoxy, which you can get here at Apogee, uh, to secure that. Um, when you're putting the eye bolt in, you want to make sure that the uh, the eye end of it is um, facing this way versus perpendicular to the tube, otherwise you're not going to be able to fit the motor mount into the body tube eventually. So we put the eye bolt through, then the washer and the nut, screw it down together. Sure, that's aligned just so. 
then we will take our fixed epoxy, pop the little tube on the inside, and mix. All right, so I got the reactive pack epoxy, not fixed epoxy, mixed up, cut off a little corner here. And trying to get glue on myself, but we'll put some around the threads on the eye bolt between right on top of the nut there. This stuff smells awful. Then also probably between the nut and the washer. Because it's hard to have too much epoxy. Okay, uh, so now while well, that's mostly dry. We're going to put on um, some fillets for extra strength in the rings so they don't pull off. Um, first, wipe off any excess glue you've got. Side glue is my fault. And here we're using tight bond to wood glue. So we'll go on this side first. Take off the excess. And keep doing that to each side of your ring. There you have your motor mount put together.